Hey guys, welcome back to another week of the Race Survival Series. This is week number seven, and let me just talk about our teams. For Team Terran, we have JYJ, Barracks, and Ample, three of my favorite new Terrans on the scene. Well, <laughs> new is sometimes meaning more than 10 years, but you know what I mean. For the Protoss side, we have Movie, Mighty, and Sins, and for Zerg, Beast, Miso, and Yabsab. So our first game here today is going to be Barracks here in the top right of Neo Forte, going up against Beast in the bottom right. Both of these guys, uh, ASL players in Season 13. Both very, very strong. Uh, Beast, generally a pretty aggressive Zerg player. And Barracks, I like to just kind of refer to as a very modern Terran. Uh, definitely really strongly up and coming. Like, if I had to give my Terran ranks right now, he'd probably be sixth best Terran in the world or so, or his beast a little bit lower on the Zerg side. So I would I would say that I'm favoring Barracks here uh, a little bit. I do think that uh, he should be feeling pretty confident, especially on this map. Neo Forte, not the greatest map for Zerg, honestly. It's an older map. Uh, taking a look for Beast, right? Like, you're on... Uh, these small main bases, the little ramp going down, and here's where your natural is. But the choke is over here. So, the, in modern maps, you'll literally never see this because the natural for Zerg should be blocking the choke in. And if it doesn't, it just isn't very playable for the Zerg player. Uh, and we've seen that on the games that we've had on Neo Forte lately, where Zerg is basically getting strongly abused uh, you just kind of, like, walk out with your bio. And, and basically, Zerg has to go, like... I, I don't even know, like, speedlings early. But then if you commit to lings, you're screwed. And if you make your first hatchery here, you're screwed. Because you don't have an economy. So, yeah, it's a, it's a map that I hope after this season gets taken out. I'm sure the Zerg players are probably putting up a little bit of a fuss for it. And you can see that Barracks is setting up to abuse that as well. Look, he's already got two Barracks being made. Uh, and, I mean... Honestly, like, if he just makes Marines, that's enough. Like, does he even need the Academy? I'm not sure. And look, Beast is going to go ahead and throw the hatchery down. So this is a defensive hatchery, which means he's going to be sitting here on one gas for a very long time. Uh, I guess he's maybe just going to go three hat real quick. Maybe he'll go Lurker Ling to complement that, since he won't have the normal gas count for a Mutalisk opener. Now, all that being said, if he can kind of get past the early game and get into Mutas... This is, like, a very hard-to-defend base against Mutalist Craftsman. Look how the turret, the uh, mineral patches are up against this high ground wall. So, like, turrets won't be enough. Mutas can definitely slay any SCVs on this side of the command center. But, yeah, first things first. He has to be able to live through this early game. Now, a layer is on the way. SCV going to be chased out a little bit here. And, I mean, the layer's coming, so this this has to be a Lurker opener. Like, you just, you can't, you can't really go Spire with one gas. It's just, you don't get enough Mutalisks out. It, it's it's the most pitiful, sad thing in the whole entire world. Uh, but a lot of Marines being made, and, in fact, he is going into the Academy as well. Stim coming up. And here we go. Seven Marines on the move out. No real intel. Uh, there's, like, two Zerglings out right now. Uh, a creep colony on the way. So four Zerglings does not beat this. This might end up being a ridiculously quick game, uh, unfortunately. It's one Marine kind of getting caught behind. But does anything matter here? <laughs> He's making a lot of lings right now. Fire bats on the way. Look, he forced a cancel on uh, the Sunken and is walking back to get the fire bat and medic. So Barracks right now playing it very, very safely. There is, in fact, a Spire on the way. So Beast... Wow, I mean, that's that's pretty brave, right? Like, he's going to be able to get about four to five mutas only to start, and then three mutas a minute. So it's going to take him two minutes after the Spire finishes to even get a full group, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but here we go. Is he going to live that long? With the Fire Bats coming up, this looks pretty tough. One Sunken is up. A second Creep Colony is morphing. Can't quite get these Fire Bats, it looks like. And yeah, that might actually be it. A very, very quick game here. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. GG. Barracks wins the first game of week seven. 